Hey Virgo, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to my channel, House of Virgo. This is Kelly. If you are new, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And do become a member of my channel. I go live. We'll be going live every Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once you become a member, join in on the chat and you get to have unlimited readings with me for the time that I am here. Ask any questions you like. You guys, it is in the teens, temperature-wise, here, where I'm at. As you can see, I'm wearing gloves because I just cannot get... I've got the heat jacked up. I've got candles. I have a portable heater. I'm absolutely freezing, so you're going to have to suffer through it with me <laughs> if you're in a cold area as well. Uh, I feel for you. All right, Virgo. Okay. What's going on? How are you guys doing? Thanks for all the kind messages. I definitely was running a fever there for a little bit, but I don't believe that it was COVID, so not too worried about that. I mean, I recovered eventually, as you can see. Um, okay. All right. Hello. Spirit's like, quit your yapping. Let's get these cards out. Girl talk. Okay. Are some girls are talking about you? Maybe. All right. Let's see time with friends moving on keep it moving virgo happily single living in the moment and having fun okay talking with your friends okay let's see and you've got paradise happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other okay i feel like you're in a good place some of you are going on a cruise. You're taking a vacation with some friends. Girls, it could be girl talk, could be guy talk. Um, I definitely see you're single as a Pringle. I see you're happy. You're living in paradise here. You are, if you're if you're not feeling that way right now, you will be. Things are going to get better, Virgo. If you're definitely struggling with something, things are going to get better. I feel like your friends or family or, you know, your soul tribe is there for you whatever you're you're going on in your life you just a lot of you are single and you're just doing your best i see you living in the moment which is good it's very good right um are you getting to that point let me see okay wow i mean sometimes the cards they just speak for themselves ascension transcending the obstacles learning from the past expansion twice here a new phase of your life some of you are preparing for union okay so if you're completely single you are preparing yourself to be in a sacred union with someone if you are recently out of a relationship you're preparing yourself to put yourself back on the market or get yourself out there which you know what are you doing some of you are you know, cleaning up your diet, the beginning of the year, January, Happy New Year. A lot of people start working on their health and their fitness, doing some new things. I just see you, I see some of you, like you're getting your, your eyebrows done, you're doing your hair, you know, you're, you're, you're putting, like, some of you are like making a plan, you're, you're setting your intentions, you're, you're just spending time, wow, it just feels like you're expanding your yourself in a lot of ways some of you may have expanded yourselves over the holidays and now you're like nope oh, nope i gotta get back to my salads i gotta get back to running <laughs> i know i certainly experienced that myself but i definitely feel like you are going through some type of ascension process you're on your own you're focused on yourself you're doing you okay which i think is great you know if you were coming out of a breakup or something ended, um, it doesn't matter how long ago or how recently, I see you going forward in this position now where you're like, you know what? I can't keep dwelling. Let me focus on myself and what are my goals or what are, what are the things I need to do for myself? So I like it. I like it. Okay. Let me see here. What are these other messages for whomever you are? connecting with hi everybody in the chat i hope you're well you guys listen on my other channel moon pie tarot i uploaded a virgo reading um when did i upload that saturday on the 8th 
so that's good for the next 10 days so shoot on over there and check that out if you're interested all right let's see oh look at that hmm virgo somebody wants a reunion here with you um reunion committed relationship marriage hmm somebody's coming back is what i hear it's like a homecoming or somebody's going to be in your area uh, wants to build a strong foundation with you somebody's realizing something here okay the situation was not stable somebody wants to come in and stabilize the situation make plans to reunite with you all right virgo okay it's a lot of options things to weigh right now somebody here is i feel like they're thinking about what's the best way to do this what what are their options if you've decided to you know just move on you're not going forward with a relationship you're just kind of like well that's just dead in the water it's you're le you're leaving it or you've left it it's just not working um i feel like you've got somebody here who is wanting to try to make something work with you and they're kind of like hmm how do i do this definitely wanting to bring stability into the connection okay this person oh it might have a lot to do with restrictions maybe there are some restrictions at this time um how do we bypass these restrictions uh somebody feels kind of imprisoned uh somebody is self isolating maybe there was an illness um and this person at the time or currently is not able to move something forward or reunite with you um, they kind of have to wait and see until maybe when they're feeling better there's an energy here of kind of being trapped um, but i feel like this person is self-trapping so it can be a card of self-sabotage but the restrictions feel like there's an inability to move forward they could move forward but I don't know someone's like there's fear and insecurity of getting ill or of getting somebody else ill let's see I'm getting you ill wow okay so you've got somebody here virgo who is very is feeling very quite like left out in the cold here they might again there's an illness this is what i feel five of pentacles energy i was just saying i wasn't fully sure there's ill health and i feel like somebody um when this person is done with their health being sick or incapacitated in some way for whatever it is there's going to be some kind of a reunion between the two of you okay right now i don't know if this person lives in a cold area or if it's just because it's the winter season okay um maybe you're in the winter you're in like a cold area or they are um it feels like wherever somebody is there's an inability to come together wherever somebody is there's an inability to come forward, to come together. A real struggle. Somebody's feeling trapped or unable to move forward. Let me see what else is going on here. Wow. But the Ace of Cups is here. Oh. And somebody's coming in. They're going to try to marry you. <laughs> Virgo. But like legally, this is more like it's not. This person does want to have a wedding type of thing but that right now i feel like they are thinking about opening up this cup of love with you they're just trying to figure out when is the right time it feels like timing here to come back they can't right now now i know some of you um might not want to have somebody back 
uh, this just would not be a reading because there was reunion all over this. Okay. All right, give me a second here. Wow. This person also is running away from somebody that they may have been involved with might have been like a very lusty kind of a situation you know a passionate connection with someone that this person i feel like was a cheater was a liar um the person they were involved with or they're still talking to this person i also feel like your person is talking to someone else who is telling them a bunch of lies about you but the motive behind that is because they want to be with your person okay um who is this you are dealing with someone who's got really low self-esteem or insecure like insecurities is what i feel they can't this person cannot i don't know if they can't think for themselves or if they play the victim that they're trapped and they can't leave a situation hmm I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of feel like some of you are like, that's not my problem. Uh, look at me. I'm, I'm with my friends. I'm with my family. I'm living in paradise. I'm ascending. I'm happy. I'm single. I'm feeling playful. You know, I'm enjoying other people who are with me. I'm, you know, I'm joyful, living in the moment. I'm trying to have fun here. I'm okay with being single. I don't want this person back. I don't need that energy back in my life. And your person is getting some kind of like... It feels, I don't want to say karma because I'm not, well, justice is here. So very well could be some form of like justice is being served to this person, like bad karma for, I don't know, for something that they did. It might have been if they were cheating with someone. If, if you know for a fact that your person was giving their time, of, time, energy and resources to another person and not to you. I feel like that may be like it's it's getting them now it's hitting them now it's backfiring is what they want to say and hmm I feel like some of you just said that's it you're done let them be with whoever they want to be with you don't care. they don't care. you don't care and this person may have chosen somebody else as like because they couldn't be alone they didn't want to be alone but this person just brought them down or just was lying and cheating or just um stealing from them or just betrayed them they were dishonest somebody was dishonest with them and then it feels like karma got this person or bit them in the ass i'm not laughing about it i just kind of feel like a lot of you are like look the knight of pentacles in the reverse you know you're just no longer even giving to the situation anymore you've got like you're not you're you're no longer trying to be dependent you know you're like okay well if you're going to keep it slow and just abandon me or leave me out in the cold well i'm going to slow it down even more for you and not even give you access to me i mean the knight of pentacles in reverse is like not even moving okay that's you though that's what's going on with you so i feel like this person though right now i see them they really want to make things right with you try to make things right with you bring that love in they see you as a blessing this person sees that you um you brought such a huge cup of love to them like you were so open and loving and warm as much as you could have been you were so giving and willing to serve and be there for this person and you were truthful with them all the way through it looks like you were truthful with this person and they're seeing that you were like this with them and that hmm yeah look at this they're having a tower moment right now this person is like boom holy this is like a wake-up call, like destruction to the ego, the crown chakra. Look at that. 
the whole thing is ruined, is gone. This person feels like their whole world just completely fell apart when you decided to walk away from them because they thought they had it in the bag with you, Virgo. They thought you would always stick around. They thought that you would always be there. Um, and you were willing to always be there. But I feel like you weren't getting anything in return. There was no reciprocity. And now I feel like this person, you know, whatever they were doing over here with somebody else or whatever, if they were, if they were two timing, if they were juggling, I feel like now that you've walked away, this person from your person, or you just were forced to walk away and decided that you just weren't going to chase all they have left is either somebody else that they were hanging on to that they're comparing now to. They've got somebody else here who is just up their ass constantly. And they're feeling like they're missing you. Because the other person, whether you know about it or not, the other person was just taking, 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 taking from them. Just wanted so much. And you were over there giving so much. I don't know, I just get a sense that they're comparing, but right now here, their whole world is crashing down. You really did it. They're they're thinking, wow, Virgo really did this. And it's weird, but it's really attractive to them because you showed a sign of strength. You showed that you didn't need to be with this person. You showed that you were going to be fine. Yes, you love them, but you weren't going to chase them down. You showed a sense of dignity you kept your dignity and if you haven't it's time look at you this person looks at you you've got the nine of pentacles they're looking at you as someone who is single independent i don't need no man or woman <laughs> but you're you're kind of like you know i'm good i got everything i need and if i don't i will you know you're looking hot this person thinks you're super attractive super sexy dressing nice looking good you got your hair right you got your your body you're working on your fitness your health some of you bought a new car you're putting your money in the bank you're working very very hard you know this is a card of someone who is completely single and enjoying their lives and if you haven't yet you will and i feel like this person sees you and they're finding it to be like very attractive this person's like wow it makes them want to surrender to you and i feel like this person is going to surrender hmm. look two tens surrendering to love okay look at this a whole new beginning initiation of love a whole new beginning coming in from this person This person wants to marry you. They want you by their side. Well, look at that. There we've got the lovers now. Okay. Two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. We have Gemini energy, Scorpio energy, Libra. Another Virgo possibly. I mean, it feels to me like your person... It, they need they could not see your value and your worth if you hit them over the head with it while you were with them you show are showing your worth here to them by valuing self by having your boundaries by saying you know what i'm worth more than this i deserve more than this and you do virgo you do you, and I don't see you being mean or angry because you're ascending. You're having fun. You're enjoying your life here. Some of you are really happy to be out of this connection, out of this relationship. Some of you I see are like, Phew, thank God that's over. I don't have to put up with this drama or this BS anymore. I can actually be like focused on myself. I feel like a lot of you... Because of this person's either behavior towards you or, or lack of behavior towards you, it kept you really stuck. A lot of you really needed to break free 
from this so you could get back on track with self. And I see this person looking at you and thinking, damn, where did this come from? How did Virgo get up the strength? Or Because a lot of you were probably just spending too much time focused on this person. And they're, they're totally heartbroken. This person is like really going through a heartbreak that you left. They feel like you're gone for good. Like you are forgotten about them, that you don't want anything to do with them anymore, that you're going to find another lover. Like this person is motivated now, not because of everything you do or you've done, but because of everything you're not doing anymore. Some of you were just doing way too much. Some of you were just doing way too much for this relationship. You were trying to be the four pillars and just hold the whole structure up. And some of you were just in this position. Well, if I just love that person more, if I give more love, or if I give more attention and more time, I mean, obviously that didn't work. Um, and it, it just fizzled out or somebody chose somebody else, whatever the issue was whatever happened, whatever the breakup was, if it was a third party, or it's just something that wasn't going to happen. It feels to me like the last thing you had left was to walk away and to just be done with it and to not chase. And I really get a sense that that was the right move because I see this person looking at you now in awe because I am just hearing nobody walks away from me. That's what I'm hearing this person maybe said to themselves, or I don't know why I'm hearing that, but I feel like you're the one. It feels like the reading I gave the other day. You're the one that got away. You're the one that actually got away from this. You're the one that was brave enough or bold enough to say, no, nah, I don't think so. No. Nah. I'm not staying for this anymore. You raised your standards at some point, and it doesn't matter if it took you 20 years to do it. Even better, because it's a shock. Uh, however long, if you were with someone for a really long time, and one day you just woke and said, no, I'm not doing this anymore, and you just raised your standards, lifted yourself up and out of this, that came through as like a huge tower moment for this person. You did something completely different than what you've always done before. And what you've always done before is you were always there. You were always answering their calls. You were always texting. You were always opening the door. If they needed something, you got in your car and went towards them to give it. You were serving, 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 serving. And you were enabling this relationship to stay the way it was. which was not fulfilling for some of you, okay? Some of you just decided, you know what? Let me go fulfill my own needs. Now, I got to make some changes here. And I see this person just like, geez, they're really shocked that you did this. Look, the Two of Cups, this person wants to, like, there's so much love here. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups. This person's going to try to have some kind of connection with you in the future going forward. It's what I'm telling you. Once this restriction that they're in or whatever they're dealing with, it's going to end soon. And something is coming up. I'm going to give you some clarifying cards here. I feel like it's going to come out of the blue. It's going to be kind of a surprise. Okay. I wasn't trying to shuffle um in the sense that i was asking anything but the nine of wands popped out so i feel like that's an advice card for you is to just you know keep your boundaries keep doing what you're doing virgo you don't need to you know you don't need to go back once you've ascended why would you go back i think the biggest obstacle for you virgo in your ascension was yourself that was the biggest obstacle, overcoming the self. Because when you come o overcome the self, you master yourself. And you are allowing somebody else to master you in a relationship. Good for you, Virgo. 
but let's take a look here. I want to see this. Show me this uh, justice card. And look at that. Yep, this person, they're going to get down on their knee <laughs> for some. Or the, th There's definitely going to be communication. That you're going to get communication from this person where they're going to say, can we fix this? Can we try to find a solution? Can they, the truth is going to come out about their feelings, that they love you. They've always loved you. They took advantage of you. They want to do right by you. I feel like this person is thinking about how much they screwed up. They're taking the blame. They're believing that they're the reason for why everything fell apart. Um, they're the reason for they couldn't see a good thing, like I said, if it hit them over the head. And now they're like, damn. They feel like they've lost you. So definitely communication coming in from this person. Expressing their feelings. You know, um, they actually, it's going to sound strange, but this person's, their feelings have been aroused. They may have been kind of stagnant as you two were together um, because it just kind of felt, they felt like you would always be there. And now it feels like the fact that you walked away is magnetizing. A, a vacuum has been created. Does that mean they're going to hoover you? Hey, I didn't get any narcissist cards yet. So I don't, I don't think that's what we're talking about here. Maybe you broke it in them. <laughs> Maybe you broke it. For some of you, and listen, I'm not talking about... <sighs> I'm not talking about like psychopaths, okay? Because you can't break them. Um, in fact, you probably wouldn't even be listening to my reading if you, because some of you knew this, it was impossible. But someone who is, ex you've broken this person's ego crown. You broke them down. That's what I feel. That's what the tower card is. Okay. This is the crown chakra. Um, somebody likes the color purple I have to say that but this crown chakra um, I feel like there's like enlightenment here this person's like a wake up call like boom you broke their ego Huh. Here's our first court card. King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this person, maybe they had that in their chart somewhere, but the King of Swords is someone who is like, can be quite cold or just more cerebral, you know, everything in the head, more cerebral. And um, I just see you destroying that ego by walking away and not giving this person unnecessary validation or att attention any any longer and i see that really just gives them like a like a wake up call like a, they like they get hit in the head like i can't believe it they can't believe i don't know if this person is just so entitled or they just think that they deserve like they're, maybe they're so used to people or um I guess so used to people just giving them whatever they want. And Virgo's like, well, it's not me anymore. A lighter. Let me see here. Show me this lover's card. What's going on here with this person? Wow. Ace of Swords. So you have two aces. So here they are. They're coming in, giving you clarity about. They want you for life, partners for life, partnership. They have a deep, deep love for you. And it's just been, it's been insta like it's been stirred up in them because you're walking away. This person has a great fear of losing you and they think that they've lost you. Now, some of you, I know some of you are like not, 
it's I don't know that some of you are just they're giving this message some of you just have not fully walked away from the relationship you just turned and look are looking in a different direction you know you may have your back to it but you may not have walked actually out of the relationship some of you are just like well I'm just not going to give all the attention to this because nothing I'm not getting anything in return and some of you just have turned in a different direction and looking towards yourselves or looking towards, you know, what you want or what you need. Maybe even looking, some of them might even be, some of you might, I just heard, I see some of you going towards mm -hmm. another person. Oh, goodness. I see some of you going towards somebody else. And this might be rocking their ego as well. Remember I was saying this, this person has a feeling that you've left all together you've left the relationship you you they're lose they might be losing you to another person or they're thinking that they could be because look at you you're you know single as a pringle you're you're moving on you're you know not wasting time you gave and gave and gave to a relationship here and you're not wasting any more of your precious time energy and resources and i feel like this person You've defeated, you've defeated this person. And a lot of you, maybe that was your intention, but it wasn't so much to defeat them, but to win yourself back. So by default, you've defeated this and you've overcome the own obstacle, your own obstacles of self. Um, all right. I just want to take a look here and see. what the hidden truth oracle messages are here. Okay. It's so hard to shuffle with gloves on, but you know what? My hands are warm, so we're good. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, it is so hard. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, stop it. I hide behind material things. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, this person is definitely right now afraid to reach out to you because they're afraid you're going to reject them. They're fearful that you're going to tell them that you're with somebody else or that you're just no longer interested. So you're not hearing from them right now. They're burying themselves in work to try to forget you. And the fact that they even have to do that is telling of how much you were, you know, important to them or how much you are now important to them it's a shame they didn't see it before but you know what virgo some of you might have been just over giving in a past relationship giving too much and you didn't leave room for this person to miss you or to appreciate you okay this person wants to feel the way they used to feel i feel like in the beginning when you guys first got together where you in the beginning virgo were kind of like off limits this person wants to chase you that's all it's really simple and you virgo were not especially the virgo ladies virgo feminine i should say a lot of you were like oh you don't need to chase me here let me just lay down naked on your doormat right in front of your door just open the door i'll here i'll be here whenever you need me and believe me, I'm not making fun of you, but some of you, you know, face it a lot. Some of you, I won't say a lot. Some of you were just super, super available, like way too much and putting yourselves on the back burner and not and putting this person before yourself. And I'm not saying that love shouldn't be that way love is a very sacrificing emotion that we do for other people but when it's a constant that you're doing for someone else more than for yourself you know even in the sense of like you spend your whole day waiting for your phone to ring you keep looking at your phone hoping that this person's going to call you in the meantime your dishes are piling up you're looking at your phone while you're driving and you're, you're about to like run a red light. You know, you're, you're too focused. You're too focused. So either you have gotten to a position where you're like, no, I got to fix, I got to get some balance here and refocus my energies back on myself. But you are, some of you are still leaving the door open for that person, but you're not 
it's the runner chaser and a lot of you were the chaser but i have to say you don't want to be in either position because the runner chaser energy is not healthy that's not a healthy relationship so it's about striking balance okay this person hiding behind material things okay so oh gosh i just saw an image of someone this person oh excuse me my nose is still a little stuffy this person hiding behind all right i'm going to tell you what the vision is i'm getting i'm seeing someone sitting in like a restaurant or a coffee shop or a place that you both used to go together and when you go in there they're there but they're hiding behind like a laptop or they have a hat on they're not revealing themselves and you don't see them you're not going in there scouting the room out i just see you going in there to be seated or to you know do whatever wherever place you are and this person's kind of hiding are they watching you i don't feel like they're stalking you but i feel like when they see you they're hiding because they're afraid to say anything to you they're afraid to reach out they could be hiding behind fake social media accounts things like that anything like that i feel like they're just afraid to contact you directly are they contact you contacting you indirectly they may be and that maybe is for like 25 30 percent of you who may just be like okay yeah i know that for sure all right let me see what else Okay, I'll give you a bunch. I wish I could share my good news with you. <laughs> and the good news is, hey, I've woken up. I love you. I want to be with you. I was an idiot. But I couldn't let you get close to me. And I see that now. I left you before you could leave me. This person may have walked away from this relationship right in the middle of it. And that might have given you guys a wake up call. Like, whoa. This person left me standing out in the cold and I had nothing around me because I was just too busy focusing on them. And when they left, I had like a wake up call and I looked around and I was like, wow, where am I? Where have I been? What have I been doing? And you're looking around your house and you're a lot of you became way too um, obsessed. But I feel like both of you are kind of like this with each other too, in this runner chaser dynamic. So this person believes that you will be together again. And like I said, they do want to come back. And I, I, please don't take it like I'm blaming you that they're the reason they are the way they are because their part was that when you were there, they weren't appreciating you in some ways. Um. I feel like when this person comes back, there's a lot of healing energy, but as I say all the time, you need to be sure that this person is coming back out of heart and not out of ego, because sometimes I can look the same, as I said, they could reach out to you and want to try to talk to you, and it could be coming out of ego where they're like, well, I'm only trying to talk to you so I can dump you or they're coming in out of heart like i'm only trying to talk to you hey i want to talk to you so we can work on this like time you have to give it time with this person it feels to me like this person is coming in with sincerity that they're realizing they're having some kind of wake-up call you know they had a tower moment like you are gone they could lose you to somebody else and they need to do something about this right now or that's it for for good and i feel like virgo you are just like you don't even care right now you just do not even care you i see you not caring going forward this person cannot stop thinking about you see you both kind of had that that dynamic going on in this connection you know and i know some of you some of you post and say well i do not want that person back again i'm over it well, if you were, you, you really probably wouldn't need to even say that. And it's okay if you're not. 
Uh, nobody is here judging. It's okay if you still have feelings. Like I say, even when relationships end, sometimes there's still some lingering energy that needs to be released and it hasn't been fully released yet. You know, um, let's see, what did somebody tell me? Let me think now. Hold on, it's coming back to me. In the amount of time that you and your person were together, it takes a quarter of the amount of time for you to be. No, I didn't hear that right. Hold on a minute. I once heard, okay, here's what I'll say. I once heard someone t t once hear someone say in the time that you and someone was together, it takes, cut that in half. And that's how long it takes for the energy to be fully, completely like forgotten. If you never see or talk to this person again, or it's just like the relationship's done. It takes half the time that you were together. And then I heard someone say the other day, oh, it should only take four months. And I just kind of feel like, nah, I don't think that's, I don't know. Because there's people who have been together 15, 20, 25, 30 years. I don't think four months is really enough time for that energy to heal. You know what I mean? So I kind of, if you heard something different, definitely let me know in the chat here or in the comments. But I feel like it's half the time. Now, it doesn't have to be half the time. I feel like you can speed things up. <laughs> I mean, it could always get under somebody else. Okay, they're showing me the King of Cups. So some of you could have had a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces here. You're a wish come true for them. This person is stressing, full of anxiety. They're having, they can't sleep. They are like panicking. They're having like, they might be, um, the have like anxious attachment some of you might as well but a lot of you might be in avoidant attachment right now because you're trying to avoid getting back into something that you don't feel strong enough to handle at this time um this person i do feel like with the ten of pentacles this person wants to have like that strong built hardcore foundation with you like either buy a house or they wanted to move in together or, or live together or something like that. Like those, they're having nightmares that that's not going to happen um, because of the five of pentacles here. This person just feels extremely like frozen. I just heard that song frozen from Madonna. I, actually, I didn't hear it. I saw her face from the video frozen. The whole thing maybe was frozen in time the whole relationship just froze nothing happened seal the nice remember i was saying like cold as ice somebody you might have been dealing with became very cold and then you kind of became cold um you know that's kind of like it's like a virus when when the cold air sets in everything when things starts to turn to ice everything else does need a little sunshine in this situation but i feel like for you you right now are warming up you're getting your your warmth back in your life and you're doing that through your friends family members people who love you people who care about you okay playing in the warmth some of you might be going to a tropical area or you live in a tropical area and you're just going to the other side of the street i don't know going to like a warm area or a warmer spot, warmer area, maybe a beach somewhere by the water. You're just trying to warm up your soul. I feel like I want to give you another one. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Six of swords. Okay. Traveling, getting some distance, clearing the energy, getting into a calmer, peaceful place for yourself. So I feel like what you're doing for yourself, Virgo, is really good. I feel like it's something you needed to do. And I feel like this person is, I don't know right now that they're having, I don't feel like they're having regrets. Like that there's, I, I might have said that, but it, it, they're telling me now, it's not so much regrets or remorse. It's just shock. It's just shock that you uh, aren't available for them and that you don't want to be because 
you're not getting anything reciprocated you're not getting anything in return you're just you're just the one who keeps answering the door and letting them in but this person's like not taking their shoes off when they come over they're stepping all over your carpet in um muddy shoes they're not wiping their feet in, in other words they're disrespecting you and i feel like you're done with that energy all right let's take a look and see what other general messages there are for you going forward Oh, Cupid's arrow, love messages, travel. I'm telling you, Virgo, this person's definitely coming in with some communication and they're going to start love bombing, reaching out once they get up the courage and they're not fearful. Um, I feel like right now they're in shock and they can't even believe that you just walked away or you just decided you weren't going to move forward with this anymore. Um, you might not have told them maybe they sense it some of you may have told them but I do feel like they're going to send you some type of message going forward that they're coming to see you um, or that they would like to meet you down the street at the coffee or the restaurant um, or invite you to dinner okay or they would like to go travel somewhere with you okay I see you're kind of like non-committal though <laughs> I don't know if you're going to agree to it or not. I feel like a lot of you are going to say maybe. I might. Maybe. We'll see. You're not going to give like a straightforward answer because a lot of you don't feel like you owe that to somebody because you didn't get straightforward answers from them. So a lot of you are mirroring this person. Um, you're just kind of dishing it out. And you've got someone here where the energy's like, well, you know, you dish it out, but you can't take it. You're giving it back to this person. Some of you are also going to get love messages from somebody else as well. And you may not commit to that either. Because I really feel like you guys are just, you're ascending. You're just, you're dating yourselves right now. <laughs> I don't know. Or you're just doing you. Because it's really drama free. You know okay trust your intuition the answer lies deep within you trust spirit wait for answers to be revealed to you virgo um you're not seeking answers anymore and you're like well you know if i'm meant to know then it'll be revealed to me i'm not going after and i'm not chasing waterfalls i'm not chasing messages i'm not chasing answers i'm not seeking any person place or thing out right now i'm just being me i'm ascending I'm just being happy. I'm in a new phase of my life. It's 2022, which is a partnership year. It's a year of duality, balance, choices, opposition, reflections, and diversity times three. So you're in a really good place, Virgo, or you're getting yourself there this year. See, what did I say? Reflection. Go in. You're, a lot of you are going into your cave right now and regrouping and recollecting. There's a lot going on and you need alone time. I see you doing that. You're staying in the stillness, but you're not getting lost, okay? You're, some of you are, might tell people you're taking a vacation or you're just, that you're not talking to them right now. You can't communicate right now. There's other stuff going on and you're just pulling out for a bit or for however long until you're ready to re-engage. You're just trying to get into like a recharge. You're recharging your soul. You're, you know, if you were a Tesla, you'd be plugging yourself into the charger. You are a Tesla. You're, you're worth it. So you're plugging in. You're getting yourself in a much better position right now, which is good. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, you're taking a risk, though, with self, which is great. You know, Virgo, for a lot of you, I mean, you're starting over. You're spreading your wings. For a lot of you, it was a big move or a big risk for you to take to not continue on in something that wasn't serving you. Because like I always say, Virgos are the martyrs of the Zodiac. Um, Virgos will give and give, and they have a tendency to enable sometimes, but they will give and give, and... 
they have, you know, it's kind of like Virgos know a lot about psychology, the understanding of the psyche and the human mind. And it's kind of hard to be angry at somebody when you you fully understand that they got issues. <laughs> it's kind of hard for you to take it personally. Um, you do, but most of the time you're like, well, I understand why they're like this. Like you're very compassionate, Virgo. You understand that they had trauma as a child. You understand that they had issues with their, their ex. You understand that they had issues, they were bullied or they had, you know, other things that happened to them. Yeah, you understand. But the problem for a lot of you, I see, is that in the past you were trying to heal this person or fix them. Love is a beautiful thing and love does conquer all. But God's love is the ultimate conqueror, higher power and spirit. And this person was trying to put you in a position to save them. You were like, yeah, okay, I can do it. And of course you can do it, Virgo, but not with your partner. Maybe if you want to do that like as a career, but not with your, your lover. Because then you just become in like a father, daughter, mother, child, son, or whatever uh, relationship. And then you become an enabler. And you get hurt in the end. It's not your responsibility to fix other people. You can love them, but you can't fix them. So you, it was a big risk for you, Virgo, um, to take a leap of faith here and say, I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm not chasing anymore. I'm not reinstigating. I'm not pursuing. I'm not reengaging with this person. Now I'm going to just give all that self-love to me. And I see you. Now people start coming out of the, the woodwork. Not only your person from the past is like, didn't think you had it in you. And now they're like, oh, they want you back. And they realize that they messed up, but also somebody else. And I feel like you're like, well, I'm not committing to anybody. I, I'm still doing me. So anger, no win situation here. So a lot of you might still be, you know, trying to get rid of the anger over the fact that you tried so hard to be there for someone and to do what you could do for them and you know you're angry with angry with yourself maybe not so much this person you're angry with yourself you're a lot of you i see you're kind of kicking yourselves you know but don't because that's the very thing that since you walked away that this person is so appreciating you about you right now that you are a real one you are you were definitely the true epitome of ride or die <laughs> you were a Virgo and because that's just your nature you know but during the times when you almost could have died is when you should not have been riding with that person and I feel like a lot of you are seeing it right now but you're angry at yourselves that you put yourself in a position to get really hurt and to be traumatized by a relationship that you just needed to have better boundaries with lessons learned like I said you're ascending here and that's a very good thing for you. Okay, ghosted or blocked. So some of you, <laughs> I do feel, I will say this, there's a reason why this person's fearful of contacting you. They might be picking up your energy, fearful of con contacting you because you might reject them. Oh, a lot of you are gonna, a lot of you are still in this position. Like, no, I'm bored with this stupid relationship. No, it didn't work out for me ghosted blocked see ya and they know that your person's aware your person knows that right now is not the right time to be coming back will they in the future yes when whatever their restrictions are the restrictions are self-imposed the, that self-imposed um restriction with that eight of swords felt like they were making themselves not do anything because it wasn't the right time Okay. Also, it could have been ill health. It could also had something to do with like mental issues going on or actual restrictions going on in the world. It, all of it could be playing out. But I feel like this person will definitely be reaching out to you the longer that you just pull your energy away and just start keep working on self and doing better. I know a lot of you have been doing that. Um, and I will tell you that for those of you that have been doing that and you're not trying to go back to the past, there is somebody like you will be getting some new, like the love is going to keep flowing to you. I saw it there with the Cupid's arrows. There will be messages coming in pretty quickly for you soon. Okay. From somebody. And, um, I feel like when I saw non-committal for some of you, there is an energy where 
you're not going to rush in is what I feel. You're not going to rush in to commit to anything or to say yes or no to anything right away because you're, you had some hard lessons and things you had to learn and you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're going to be angry or hating yourself for giving too much. So I feel like a lot of you are just going to take it really slow. Um, let me take a look at see if there's anything about new love coming in. Like what the deal is with this. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, wedding. A situation that will involve marriage. This situation is calling for you to have faith. But do you're paying attention to the red flags, okay? So just that's what you need to I don't know that you need to do that. I, I mean, of course you do, but I feel like a lot of you are just you may not be ready to rush into things because you might be not fully ready to make discernment about what are red flags and what aren't, you know, like, in other words, there could be like a hypersensitivity to getting involved again. For instance, this person be could be leaving the toothpaste off or the cap off the toothpaste. And if you're hypersensitive to things after some trauma bonding or whatever you went through in the past, you might look at that and be like, I've asked that person not to do it and they keep doing it. It's intentional and they're trying to hurt me. That means that you're not ready yet because most of the time it's not. But if you're not if you're in a position of like you haven't fully healed and you're not ready to let go, um, you're going to see red flags everywhere. And that might be why some of you are just not committing just yet because you went through something really difficult. Healing's painful. Healing takes time. And I know you guys are trying to get in a better position. Um, but I do feel like the love is coming in. So, you know, there may be um, an opportunity for you to um, be married to somebody or have another go at this. And I just feel like the message for you at this time is just take things slow. You don't have to watch your rush. I mean, unless you're like terminally ill and you have information about that, then just go get married. But take it slow. Don't rush in. All right, let's see. We need charms. Okay. We need charms. We don't need hair. All right. We have aw, a sea turtle. We have a sea turtle. Oh, there was somebody that used to call you honey. Definitely feeling like honey. Hold on. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> So you may have, been, excuse me, you may have met somebody when you were around the age of 10. There might have been somebody you knew when you were 10 who's coming back around or, or is somebody, you know, somebody coming back around. Um, I'm also picking up, um, some of you were involved with someone for about 10 years and for others could have been 10 months. If this is 10 days, you need to click off my readings here because if you're having a severe thing from someone that you don't never knew and you were involved with for only 10 days then we need to have a talk um but this is more along the lines of like 10 months to 10 years okay um and i'm also somebody was a pisces picking up there was a piscean energy and somebody was a baker okay pisces or was a baker Or it's both. Um, also, somebody likes to, either they eat a lot of fish, or they like to fish, like as a sport, a hobby. Or go fishing. Somebody's a Christian. Hardcore Christian. Whoa. Look at that. I just said hardcore Christian and look, there's a there's a cross. Holy moly. Well well there was a cross. Here we go. I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this because my gloves, but you see. Okay. Somebody was definitely either they were a hardcore Christian or they have become one. 
okay or someone's name is Chris or Christian or Christina and we also have palm tree so again paradise for some of you or this person we also have a unicorn here okay hmm it just told me horny somebody's horny um and somebody has like really long lustrous locks very beautiful very unique maybe you you or somebody else somebody called someone a unicorn um and somebody might live in an area where there's palm trees or there's like a church revival or something on a beach by palm trees or maybe some kind of a retreat somebody's going to um like like i said somebody either lives near palm trees uh, we have florida the carolinas uh somewhere well even up in england there's some palm trees there could be also australia spain the west coast of the united states a lot of uh, some island energy as well um you know where palm trees are i don't know where they are all over the world but yeah that's going to be your messages i'm going to leave your charms there i know that was kind of long but i hope that was helpful so you guys um make sure that you join my channel okay you have to join it through a desktop i believe it doesn't show up on the app i don't know why you might be able to join in your desktop if like you log in on your phone but not through the app um join the channel 9.99 a month and you get to be in the live member chats the chats for like what we do here with the chat box the live chat is for members only okay and you can go in there and ask any question you want i'll be in there at 4 p.m eastern standard time on sundays and i'll pull cards for you and we'll see what the mysteries are <laughs> what the secrets are that you need to know all right you guys um so i think that's it yeah and if you want to get a personal reading um i'm now getting people who are booking their readings as recurring readings every week or every other week so if you're interested in doing that um and you reach out to me just let me know and i can schedule you in to have a slot to be booked that it's your very own slot for every single week where no one else can take your slot or every other week or every three weeks whatever you want so shoot me an email or book your appointment let me know that you want it to be on a recurring schedule all right you guys um so that's going to be it i hope that that was helpful and i will see you all make sure you check over my moon pie tarot channel i do have virgo readings that i'm uplo uploading there also every 10 days if you need more <laughs> god knows i mean do you really need this many <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.